Some of the characters are the same, but you will also meet a Rosie, Shaggy, Ozma, a Donkey, and others too. We hope you like our show. Thanks for coming. And some of the others you will meet include Jackie Pumpkinhead and the Pumpkin Children. That includes me! <laughs> and we also have a special tap dance for you. And you'll also meet the very naughty Top Ten Hots. We also have a soldier and two bodyguards, a youth, a glass cat, a monkey, a monkey, a white margolette, Ojo the Unmonkey, of course, the on with the show.
And then, oh. And now it must cool for a while before we test its magic powers. And, uh, and, and also, another than the powder of life, is also my liquid of petrification. What does the liquid of petrification do? It turns everything it touches into solid marble. Oh, Joe, and it is an invention of my own. And I also find it very useful, but as you can see. Fine. My, what a chatterbox you're getting to be. Um, <laughs> let me in. Hurry up. If you ask for a good pack. Yeah. There. Is that super royal highness? Yes. That's proper cat talk. Come in. Well, Dr. Pip, do you plan to introduce me or not? It seems to me that you are forgetting your manners. Excuse me, this is Aunt Nuffy, the descendant of the former king of the Munchkins. Before this country became a part of the great land of Oz. He needs a haircut, and who's the dwarf? That's not a dwarf, it's a girl. Have you never seen one before? No, and I don't care if I never see one again. <clears throat> oh, hum, your world is such an uninteresting place. And what is this? Oh, that's my patchwork girl. My, well, my wife serving me. When she comes to life, she will do all of our work and take care of the house. You are not to order her around as you do <coughs> us. You must treat the patchwork girl with respect. Why didn't you make her pretty to look at? You made me pretty. Very pretty indeed. Ah, oh, it is almost ready. And then we shall perform one of the greatest feats of all magic possible to man, even in this marvelous land of Oz. It takes a little bit for the powder to do its, it will, it will take a couple minutes, minutes for the powder to do its work. Get around! Let me 
Pig! You bungled everything, Dr. Pig. Except me. What's wrong, Mr. Magic Maker? The liquid petrification has fallen upon my dear wife and up nugget and turned them into solid marble. Well, why don't you just sprinkle some of that powder on them and bring them back to life again? No, oh, I haven't thought of that.
did it all do? The cat has lost her shoe. Her tootsie fair, but she don't care, so what's the matter with you? Dear me, Ojo, don't you think this creature is a bit crazy? She may be. Well, if she continues her insults, I will scratch off her button eyes. Go and quarrel, please. We'll probably be with plenty of trouble along the way. So let's not make any of our own. I can barely see the path. Can you see it, Scraps? No. I can. My green eyes are better than yours. Never mind your green eyes. Look, there's something. Why is Donkey's crap?
He's a delicate eater. <laughs> That's really good. Is there anything I can do to entertain you? Yes, you can choose a great favorite if you will. Name it. I want three hairs with your tail. Three hairs? Why, that's all I have on my tail. Or anywhere else? All the rest is fur. I understand, but I really need them. They are my only ornaments, my prettiest feature. If I give up those three hairs, I, I, I'd be practically naked. I understand, <coughs> but I must have them. Well, I'll always keep my word. Oh, thank you. What's the matter? They won't come. I was afraid of that. Have to pull harder. I'll help you. So will we. Wait till I get a good grip on this tree. All right, go.
forgive me for staring, but you're the most beautiful sight my eyes have ever seen. Why, thank you, sir. And you are very handsome, too. But aren't you a little lumpy? Yes, of course. That's my straw. It bunches up sometimes. Doesn't your straw ever bunch? Oh, I'm stuffed with cotton. It never bunches up. But it's inclined to pack down and make me sag. But cotton is a high-grade stuffing. It's more aristocratic than straw. I'm glad I met you, Miss Scraps Patches. Introduce us again, Jags. Allow me, Miss Scraps Miss Scraps Patches. Miss Scraps present my friend, Scarecrow Scarecrow the Boss. Scarecrow, this is my friend, Miss Scraps Patches. Meow! Dear me, what a strange cat. What do you mean, a gelatin? Pure glass. I am much more beautiful than the patchwork girl. I'm transparent and she isn't. I have pink rings and a ruby heart. <coughs> she doesn't have a heart at all. Neither do I. And I have the friend, the Tin Woodman, who has a heart. And I find that I belong very well without one. What an admirable young lady you are. And what good company. Why, I've never met a girl with such exquisite coloring. No wonder they call you a wise scarecrow. Introduce us again, Shaggy. Twice is enough. Then I'll be off. But I'll see you this evening, Miss Patches, in Emerald City. What a strange man, but so kind and polite. Why, I think he's the handsomest man I've met since I came alive. I didn't notice any brains in his head. You can't see them, but they're there, all right? Well, let's hurry up, because I got a date with the Scarecrow tonight. If you look in this direction, we can see the towers and gates to Emerald City. I might search for weeks and weeks and never find another six-week clover. Oh, it's lovely, the Emerald City. It's the only place to live. Why, it's almost as beautiful as I am. Come on, hurry, let's go. Wait, there's someone at the gate waving to us. I think they want us to stay where we are. What's wrong, I suppose? Uh, oh. Good evening, Colonel. What's the news since I left? I'm taking a trip to see your face. Come on, Kate. Who is old old and lucky? That's me! You are under arrest. Me? What for? I haven't looked to see.
Well, at the end there will be a curtain call. Magician 
broke the law when he made the glass cat and packs with girls. And again by keeping the liquid of petrification standing on his shelf. Nevertheless, it is wrong to leave those two victims standing there like marble statues and they ought to be alive. So I propose to allow Dr. Pip to make the time in which will save them. And in this we assist Ojo in finding the thing she seeks. What do you think, wizard? That is the best thing to do. But after the crooked magician has restored those poor people to life, you must take away his powers. I shall. Now tell me, Ojo, what kind of things must you have? The three hairs from the woozy still I have. That is, I have the woozy and the hairs are in his tail. The six-leaf clover, I, I... You may take it with you. Thank you. The next thing I need is a bottle of water from a dark well. That won't be easy, but if you travel far enough, you may find it. I'm willing to travel for years if it will save up the monkey. Then you better leave at once. May I go with them, Wizard? Would you like to, Dorothy? Yes. I know Oz pretty well, but Ojo doesn't know it at all. May I? If you wish. If Dorothy goes, then I must go to protect her. A dark well can only be found in some out of the way place, and that can be very dangerous. You have my permission as well. And I'll go with them. I promised Ojo I'd help her. Me too. Where Ojo goes, I go. So be it. Now, wizard, I allow you to use your magic to tell these people on their way. Then bring me my magic crystals. Come now into my magic circle.
can't manage these bones at all. Suppose we go this way. It's a lot easier climbing, walking and climbing. What's that sign? What sign? You came. Who's, who is you? What's you? The only way to find out is to go on. <coughs> Beware the Captain you. Well, if you miss Captain, there's no need to be aware of you unless she's dangerous, is there? I don't see why we are told to be aware of the youth unless she's dangerous. <coughs> Let's go back. It's a long way, and it's hard to climb over these sharp rocks. I think we should run by the youth stage as fast as we can go. <coughs> Oh, 
and I have failed. Now, unless I wait six years for the crooked magician to make his powder of light, Uncle Nunky can't be saved. Dr. Pip will make no more powder of light. I have had him brought here in his book of recipes destroyed. I have also had brought here the statues of your uncle and Margaret. Oh, let me see them. One moment. Nothing that happens in the land of Oz escapes the notice of Linda the village of the South. She knows all that has happened to you and has told our wizard what to do. Bring in Uncle Nunky and Margaret at once. Three cheers for Ojo and Lucky. Okay. Hey! 